Good day, miss. Today, we'll be tackling about ethical decision-making, how a person faces a dilemma and evaluates among two or more difficult choices. So, what is ethical decision-making? Ethical decision-making refers to the process of evaluating and choosing among alternatives in a manner consistent with ethical principles. So as the name suggests, ethical decision-making is a decision-making process that is ethical. You cannot just come up with a decision without critically thinking things through. Though facing an ethical dilemma can be really confusing, determining which choice is good or bad, right or wrong, is what an individual should put forth, as this decision is likely to have effects on your life and even to other people. The process of making ethical decisions. Number one would be commitment. Commitment is the desire to do the right thing regardless of the cost. Meaning, no matter the situation we are in, whether it be positive or negative, we are to commit the right thing. Number two would be consciousness. Consciousness is the awareness to act consistently and apply moral convictions to daily behavior. It is the voice in our heads. It is what tells us if something is right or wrong. Lastly, competency. Competency is the ability to collect and evaluate information, develop alternatives, and foresee potential consequences and risks. It is the ability we have as human beings to know and understand that whatever we do, whether it be right or wrong, will lead to a corresponding consequence. In ethical decision making, we have six steps to follow to achieve the decision we give. Basically, when we are at the situation of having these dilemmas, we do not follow the steps, but it is in our minds already and how it processes to have that ethical decision. The first step is the identification or identifying the ethical dilemma. And this has been the most critical steps among all the other steps. Then the next step would be the collection of information or simply gather information. And this is to have the pre-informed decision and this will give us an overview on how would you decide on your decision. The third step would be the presenting of options. We usually do this by brainstorming and coming up with all the possibilities that might happen when we go with this decision or this side. That's why when doing this brainstorming, we need to get all the information as much as we can and try all the possibilities that might happen. The fourth step would be the application of the ethical principle. Then, it would be followed by the decision making already. And lastly, the implementation of the decision or the implementation of the ethical decision making. Moving to the next slide, first one, taking credit for others' work. It's very familiar, right? We all know that we cannot avoid this, especially to us, students who usually use internet as our source source of information, source of work, and a lot more. Ethical Dilemma number 2 Offering a client the worst product for your own profit. Basically, selfish people do this to the fact that they only think of themselves for their own benefit. Even though we have this pandemic, people can still think of this kind of black businesses and it really feels so bad because what we need to do right now is to help each other and do something that could help our country to survive but these selfish people only think of themselves to survive how to solve ethical dilemmas the biggest challenge of ethical dilemma is that it does not offer an obvious solution that would comply with ethical norms. Throughout the history of humanity, 
people always faced ethical dilemmas and philosophers aimed and worked to find solutions to their problems. This is because ethical dilemmas can only be answered by ourselves or our consciousness. It is up to us to decide whether something is right or wrong. And it's up to us whether we do them though they are right or though they are wrong. Now here are three approaches to potentially solve a dilemma. Refute the paradox dilemma. The situation must be carefully analyzed. In some cases, the existence of dilemma can be logically refuted. This argument takes the form, the claim that there is no such thing as the rational is itself a rational claim and so refutes itself. Value theory approach. This approach chooses the alternative that offers the greater good and the lesser evil. Meaning, in whichever side of the circumstance, you would always choose the side that offers the greater good and has a lesser evil. Lastly, we have find alternative solutions. In some cases, the problem can be reconsidered and the new alternative solutions may arise. It is important not to close any doors in finding answers, especially with problems that often arises, for the reason that problems don't easily go with just a simple answer. It's not always the first that leads an answer, it's also not always the second, given, or third that leads the answer. So being open to multiple possible, good, and uh, probable alternative is highly significant to ethically make a decision. And that's everything from our discussion about ethical decision-making. Thank you!